What's up guys, it's Greta and today I have a braiding tutorial for you. Today we are going to learn how to do a Dutch fishtail braid. So if you are ready to learn how to do this, then let's get started. First thing I've done is gone ahead and brushed my hair out so it is free of tangles. I have with me one rubber band or hair bands uh, for later when I'm done. I'm just going to keep that right there and that will be ready for me when I need it. So I'm going to turn around so you can see what I'm doing in the back because I'm going to start probably about here so that you can see uh, from the back um, like kind of top down. Okay, so I'll turn around. So fishtail, as you should know, has two sections. You're gonna start out with a left and a right side, and those two pieces are just gonna trade hair one after the other. So we're gonna start probably at the temple area, come back, and that is gonna be our starting sections. If you want, you can brush that backwards so you have a nice smooth top surface. And now we're going to split that into two pieces and we're not going to trade them over each other. We're going to trade pieces from one to the other. So this section here, I'm going to take a little section there, pull it underneath. So I'm grabbing it with my thumb and my middle finger and then just adding it to that section. Then I'm holding both sections in one hand like this. Uh, I'm kind of palming this one here and then grabbing the other one with my index and thumb so that I can come over here and grab this section here. And then I'm grabbing that with my index finger and thumb and trading it to the other side. Now again, palming this side and grabbing the other side with the index finger and thumb. Index finger and thumb are grabbing the other section. That's going to be treated underneath and now we can add in hair. So that section we just took from the original section and now we're going to add just a little bit of hair. Let's kind of find my place. Just a little bit of hair there, kind of pulling it nice and smooth and tight. And then that's added to that section we took out of that original section there. And that's going to be folded underneath and added to this section. Now we're doing the same thing on this side, grabbing a small piece there and adding a little bit of hair into that and then trading it over. So you should be able to start to see it down the center there. And we're just continuing those steps. Section from the original, new section, adding in hair. And trading. Section from the original. New section, I apologize for the dogs barking in the background. And trade. If you feel like you need to brush it, go ahead and do so anytime. Grab that section. I kind of leave this sitting on top sometimes. You can totally do that. Grabbing that, smoothing it in. Now you can kind of feel like some of that hair hasn't gotten in there yet. Make sure you're taking that hair that hasn't been traded yet from the original section. Oops, I lost my place there. I use my head to help guide my sections. So if you'll notice, there are times, like I just did, 
where I kind of flip my head to help me move some of the hair. So let's see if it's kind of muscle memory. I just kind of do it whenever I do it, but I'll point it out again, probably this time where it helps to guide the hair where I want it to. So I'm kind of moving my head in a direction where this is kind of falling back into my hand so I can grab it. With a fishtail, it's important to take smaller sections and not have giant sections because the bigger it is, the more like a regular braid it's going to look like and the less fishtail it's going to look like. So if you're, you're obviously going for a fishtail braid, you want to take your time to make it look like one. Otherwise, you could have done a regular French or Dutch braid. It's important to keep your hands nice and close to the head to make sure that your braid is tight to the scalp and not super loose. So practice having your hand literally resting on your skin and that's going to keep it nice and tight. As soon as you start pulling your hands away from the head, that's when the braid is going to start getting loose. And that typically tends to happen on these last strands down here. So again, keep it going with the shape of the head. Don't start pulling away. All right, so that was the last section we're adding hair into. So now we're doing like the regular fish tail from here on out, just taking the section, folding it under and passing it to the opposite side. Make sure to keep the hands close to the head and your section small, and then just work your way all the way down to the desired length of the braid. Also important to keep the amount of hair that you're trading from one side to the other side pretty even so that you don't have a lopsided braid. I also grab from this inside part here rather than like down here or something because that's going to make sure that all the hair is not left out and goes into the braid because if i didn't put this section in that would just continue hanging there until i finally put it in and it could start from like hanging here and then finally coming down into the braid down here so you want to make sure you're always taking from like that inside edge and bringing it all the way around to the other side. At 
this point, my arms are totally burning. So you just keep going as much as you can and take, take breaks as needed. This is definitely some arm conditioning, arm workout right here. Once you reach a length where you can clearly pull it over your shoulders, go ahead and do so. But now you need to realize that the hair is changing. So you're coming from the other way because you pulled it over. This was going this way. So now you have to continue doing it in the same way. But because you've switched directions by pulling it over your shoulder, you're now going from back to front, which feels more like a French braid and a Dutch. So now we've kind of switched into French. And then just continue braiding all the way down until you've reached the bottom where you want to end your braid. All right, guys, that is our Dutch fishtail braid. I hope this tutorial was easy for you to follow along. And if you enjoyed it and you learned something, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next hair tutorial. I also do cosmetology education on my channel as well because I am a licensed cosmetologist. So be sure to subscribe and uh, just help me grow here on this channel. I would super appreciate that. Uh, and I'll just give you the final spin of the look. This braid is perfect for sports or a hot day, something that's cute. You can always pull it apart too to make it nice and big and boho. Today I kept it nice and tight, but I also have a video on how to make any braid look boho by pancaking it, and I'll leave that in the description box below. I also have my original how to fishtail. I will also leave that down below if you need a more in-depth tutorial on just the fishtail part and not the adding in hair part. That would be the first step and then you could come here. I hope you guys had a lovely Easter and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye!